Okay, let's see if we can get these ducted fans running then. I hear the Castrati family uh, hit those high notes like nobody else. Yeah, what was is definitely still alive. You are the monster. Okay, so we have engines. Do we have medium ducted fan? Oh, uh, micro ducted fan and large ducted fan. Okay, now let's see how these fit. So I'm going to go back to this model and I'm going to use the... So we're going to try replicating this. I might have some trouble in terms of generating enough power. That's the only thing. I've never used this plug-in. Is there a nuclear reactor or something in it that I can use? Now, I'm wondering if the ducted fans will generate thrust if they're inside one of these holes, one of these things, because one of the one of the features, let's say, one of the <laughs> is that there's a, a concealed fan in the middle. I'm going to try it anyway. Let's do this. Large ducted fan. La I think the large fan is too big. I'm going to try medium size. Okay, so... Okay, and then... Yeah, I think I can make this work, right? What we're going to do is... I'll slide this forwards. And then we'll see if this actually flies when I have it, or at least if this generates thrust when it's inside this. So we'll have a fa- What? Why are you sitting there? You're supposed to be in the middle. What the heck? That's not in the middle. Who taught you about the middle? Okay. There is, of course, a way to fix this. Da 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 da. Now I want the door to be on the top. I want the door very specifically to be on the top of this thing here. So if I use like a cubic octagonal strut or an octagonal strut even, then that might mean that might fix this particular problem. Whoa! 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 That's that's really in your face. We're gonna do this in 3D. Come on. What a lovely day! Okay, so we're gonna do that. And grab this and slide it forward. Yeah, we're gonna make one that doesn't work. That's the ultimate plan here. The ultimate power in the universe. God darn, gosh darn it. I want it to like click in the middle here, but it, it just refuses. Is that even remotely on center? I, I'm having to manually center this. What gives? And then there's this weird snap behavior. I'm not sure that is correct. Plus we have to slide it forwards as well. Now turn, angle snap and everything is turned off. Okay, let's just put the other ducted fans in first, right? Let's put these ones in. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Now the ducted fans, they do they have a the ability to rotate? Your pitch roll ports. Uh oh, I have encountered this weird problem. Something is up with my mouse, which causes it to get stuck in the corner. It might be related to my joystick drivers. Okay. <laughs> no, come back here! I'm stealing you away. I'm gonna take that away. You know, maybe the way to do it instead is to attach it to something that sits on top. Maybe, maybe this is what I'll do. Right, so, hold on. Attach it to that. Come back. Y 
You know what? Maybe I should just extend the cargo bay. Let's just do that. Let's duplicate the cargo bay and have it, you know, an extra long door. That'll be easier, and then I don't need to move things around. Not science. Utility. Utility and cargo bay. Okay, and then we can put in, like, our tailplane. And our tailplane is going to obviously have to taper up and give us a tail. So we'll just use the adapter. That might be too long. Let's shorten that. I mean, what did I say might? It, it's almost certainly too long for what we need. And then a little uh, pointy bit at the back. Aerodynamics. Pointy bit. Says nose cone, but we can also use it as a tail. And we just need more mass down the front, right? You think it should... F Listen, we're going to get this thing flying first, right? Missiles will come when the time comes. Where is our thrust right now? Center of mass, uh, center of thrust, uh, not center of lift, center of thrust. Oh, actually our center of thrust is only slightly in the wrong place here. I'm just going to move, uh, let me see, if I put that weight, oh, you know what, this should be empty. Let's empty this out. Ah, there we go. Now, because that's empty, I can, uh, I can slide these forward, except that I have to put wings on it first. Let's put some wings on it just so we can get an idea. So, small delta wing. No, we need bigger delta wings. I, I actually, what we need is wing connectors out here. I could use procedural wings. That might be a better option, but we're going to start like this. And then, and then, and then, and then. Standard canard. Delta wing. Okay, well that's that's kind of a start. I, I don't remember what that thing looked like. I should have probably kept the image up. Unsolicited. Uh, let me just see. XTI tri fi We've got to keep a reference image around, right? Not a jet. It's a helicopter. The tri 600, whatever. Okay, so there it looks... Yeah, it's pretty small. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't have hugely long wings, but they are swept just a little. Okay, so we can work with that. We can totally work with that. I'm going to grab the rotations and rotate these about 15 degrees. There we go. And then we can translate them forwards. Do, do, do. Okay. And then we need tailplanes. So, of course, this thing is hugely experimental and dangerous, therefore it will kill me. But this is not a representation of the final product that the the aircraft designers are going for. So, don't worry if I crash. Do not, f you know, if you are going to, if you're the kind of person that's planning on investing, like, millions of dollars in this, don't get put off if this doesn't work. Because this is not representative of the final version. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I need a power source somehow, right? I guess I could use fuel cells. So wait a second, how much power does this need? Because, 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 because. Okay, engines. It was this medium ducted fan, right? It needs six power per second. And it, ha it has a very small vectoring range, right? That fan will has a big door over it, so we're just gonna we're just gonna hope that it actually works right now. Let's put in some big batteries. That's probably a good idea. And then we'll, once we've got through the battery situation, we can actually give it onboard power. Or wait a second, how much? Oh, yeah, I've got this weird glitch happening where my mouse keeps on disappearing off the side of the screen. Where is the fuel cells? Containers, containers. I forget what fuel cells look like. Are they even on this page? 
Okay, okay, okay. Am I blind? Am I totally missing, like, the fuel cells? You know, no, I still have the BD Armory stuff installed, yeah. I see radiators. But I'm not seeing fuel cell arrays. Structural, experimental, science. No science. Robotic, oh, it's not under robotic parts, is it? Nope, it's not under robotic parts. EVA, not there. Why? I, I guess I'm still... <laughs> I, I just, I do things in such an old-fashioned way. It's absolutely true. Oh, wait, there! Hello! Fuel cell array. God, what a moron. Okay, so where should we stick this? We'll have it... Well, I'm going to stick this weight at the front right now, right? There, that's our fuel cell. And that's going to take, uh, that's going to generate, how much does that actually generate? Generates 300 per second. I don't need 300, I only need like 6. This one will generate 50. Oh, this will totally work. Unless that's 50 charge per minute. Is that charge per minute or charge per second? I forget. Because I don't really use fuel cells. I've always gotten nuclear, but it seems appropriate to use... Small fuel, da, 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 da. places for a solar panel. This is handy for reheating snacks. Outputs electric charge at 1.5 per second. Okay, so no, I do need the big one. Big one. There, right there. So this one generates 18 per second, which is exactly enough to run all these fans. And. Meanwhile, we'll stick some solar panels on there just in case, just for like good measure. Let's use the big so uh, panels from the B9, uh, not B9, B612, right? Okay, so we need a little supply of fuel as well. It needs fuel and oxidizer, so I guess I'll stick on a little uh, roundified. What's the smallest fuel tank I can give it right now? I guess I could give it an Oscar B. Well, we're gonna do this with this. And I'll stick my fuel down. The oh, wait, I can attach my fuel tank there. That's what I'm gonna do. Attach it to the back. Mm, come on. There we go. Okay, so we get some fuel in this. We've got engines, we've got a fuel cell. This should be at least enough to see if this will fly. Let's just check center of thrust versus center of mass. So center of thrust is needs to be moved forwards a little. That's fine, actually. It means I can continue to add stuff back here. Um, let's add some more wings. More wings. Oh, yeah, I can actually put the weight... I, I'm so hard to read it what's going on. I, I'm sure this is going to be absolutely super exciting to see what happens here. Let's actually put landing gear on it as well. That would be a useful thing to have. So we'll put, we'll make this like a four-way landing gear. Take that. And then we'll duplicate it forwards. I'll just do that. Oh, come back! Come back! Okay, now we're getting closer. If there was just an easy way to adjust these things. Okay, adjustify yourself. That's a little too far forwards. I think I need to adjust this. I just want to see if it will take off, right? That's the, really the thing. For the launch. Uh, Trifan. <sighs> Sorry.
Landing gear. Where we're going, we don't need landing gear. Yeah, I, well, the thing is, if I put fuel inside the tailplane, you're true, but if I, I'm trying to... I was thinking about not having the mass back there. I, I'm just not working particularly well right now. Let's uh, throttle this up and start the fuel cell. Okay. Stability control. Okay. Now, let's actually do another test. Let's stop these things. Let's uh, shut down the engine. Shut down this engine and see if this one generates any thrust. Because we weren't sure if that would generate thrust. Yeah, I think that's generating zero thrust because it's inside the cargo bay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now push this down, lower down, so that we can see it, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Might need to do some surgery on the oh, shoot. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just flip the whole thing upside down and see if it'll work, right? Oh alternatively it could be because this whole thing is upside down. Cause I noticed that this fan is actually upside down relative to the other ones. That might be my problem. Let's just nuke this. A little bit of fuel. Yeah, I'll just add a little bit of fuel in here, right? And let's see where my center of mass versus center of lift and everything has gone now. Center of thrust. Center of... We're doing pretty good there. So what I'm going to do is move the fuel cell to the back here to add some extra mass. Okay, so that's moved the fuel cell back so I can actually slide these back a little. The idea is, of course, that we want this to be able to translate into horizontal flight. And to do that, we're going to have to add rotation to these things, right? So that they will provide forward thrust. But this is just where we're starting. It's very hard to watch chat at the same time. I'm really concentrating. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's actually just activate this one. Uh, activate engine. Oh yeah, totally. That's, that's what we were doing there. Okay. Start the fuel cell. And then start all of these. Stability control on. Okay. Wow, this is super, super easy. Okay, so now what I need to start thinking about is control surfaces, right? Oh! I guess we ran out of power. <laughs> this thing lied to me. It said it would produce 18 power or whatever per second. Let's uh, go back to the spit, the thing. I'm just going to attach a ton of uh, batteries to this just to help things through, help things forward a bit. Battery, battery, battery. Where's the big battery? Yeah, it's funny, I know. Everybody in chat is giving their opinions and they may see things before me, but Frequently, by the time they've mentioned it, I've already discovered it due to the the lag. Okay, so that will that'll help me get a little more life out of this thing. Let's bind these things to action groups, by the way. So I gotta bind. Oh, wow, we get like too many things. Number one. Toggle the doors. Toggle the doors. And then this one, we should probably toggle the engine here. And then we're going to need to come up with a way to rotate these engines, but that'll be the next thing. Save, okay. And now come back here. I was hovering over the wrong engine, is that what it was? Let's take a look again. Medium ducted fan, right click. Thruster power. 
ele propellants, electric charge, 99 per second. How, I must have looked at the wrong one, yes. Swivel engine? Well, that's good to know, I need 99 per second. But then again, I don't know if I actually need that much power. Okay, so we're going to need like a bunch of fuel cells attached to this thing. Let's just strap the fuel cells, you know, like, where can we put them right now? I'm going to stick them at the back, truthfully. Come on. So wait a second, if I'm going to get this thing, I'm going to need like a bunch of these things. We're going to need to attach the... We're going to attach the, some action groups to it. I guess start fuel cell is the only option available to me. Start fuel cell. Okay, so three will activate my fuel cells. <sighs> I'm not sure that will sustain it, but let's, uh, let's work on that principle for now. I'm going to just fill this thing up with as much fuel as I can now. And see where the see where my center of mass and everything is. Center of mass. Oh yeah, my center of lift is now my center of lift, center of thrust. You I'm gonna move this. Okay, maybe not a hundred percent fuel on here. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm hitting. I'm hitting some bug where my mouse jumps to the right corner of the the screen, which is really a bit of a problem, because it means that whatever I'm doing suddenly gets ruined. Okay, so I'm going to move a pair of these forwards. Just need to make sure that we have them still bound to the relevant. Yep, start fuel cell, we've got that. Okay, so that'll be better. <sighs> I, no, those aren't batteries, those are fuel cells. I'm just trying to make, you know, get things working first. I think what I should do is really look at the translation. This needs to turn itself forward. Let's actually, actually, no. Let's put on some control surfaces, right? control surfaces so we can control this thing in flight once it gets up to speed. Because the idea is that this transit transitions from a um, into a VTOL, or from a VTOL into a regular air aircraft. There, one of those, and one of those. That'll help me just a little. Okay. Yeah, I think where where is where where is my uh go back, go back. Robotic parts. What we need is spinny things, docking washers. We need this thing not to jump to the corner of the screen every ten seconds. We have a rototron. Let's put the rototrons on. Attach this. Okay, so these are a little wider than I hoped. But hopefully this will work together. Okay, and then we need to adjust the Rotatron thingy. Where's an... Oh, Infernal Robotics is still under this. Yes. Rototron. So we're going to use keys uh, 7 and 8 to rotate these, right? So let's try rotating it forwards. Oh, and that one's going to... Uh, okay, that one needs to go back. Zero, zero. So what? because these will rotate in opposite directions, I need to invert these things. Uh, is there a way? Preset position? Apply symmetry, maybe? Yet that is not what we want to have happen. So I can just add a new group and drag this down to this group and use the keys 8 and 7. 
So that way they'll be in separate groups, but they'll rotate together. Okay. Save this. Launch. This is going to be really hard to fly because there's so many darn buttons. But maybe we can make this thing fly. Okay. So, let's try... Okay. So this thing lied to me. <laughs> edit groups. You can go up to this group. Close edit. Ah, there we go. Zero these things out. There we go. So now if I push 8, I'll be able to turn into a proper aircraft and then I can return it to zero for a vertical takeoff and landing, right? This is the glorious plan. Who thinks this will work? Anyone placing bets? Well, it doesn't matter. At this point, we're just going to go for it. So, um, fuel cells. They're all started. And let's take a look at our fuel production. Electric charge. We get electric charge. I'm going to throttle down to zero. There we go. Stability control enabled. Atomic batteries to speed. Or atomic batteries to power. Turbine to speed. Oh, there we go. And then... There, look at this. Yes! How's this looking? How's this looking? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And then uh, shut down this engine. Look! It totally transitioned to vertical flight! Now we have like a, a tri rotor that totally flies. Of course, it's going to run out of battery power. I need to throttle this back because it needs far too much power from these batteries. Maybe uh, cruising speed is a little less powerful. Oh, look, now it's recharging if I do it one third thrust. And that's actually, you know, that's not unreasonable speeds. If I can just keep the nose up, we can totally fly it like this. Oh. Okay. It does not turn particularly well. I think I need to, to work on that. Maybe if I, I... I can nose up a little by adjusting things like that. But at least I'm recharging. Look, this is... This thing totally flies! Let's take it over to the island. I need to actually get some altitude. That's the only thing. Because... Um... Clearly my control surfaces are insufficient for the vehicle at which I've designed. I think I'm going to add more solar panels. That's the easy way to make this work. Obviously the real aircraft would have some serious uh, you know, batteries. Not batteries, they would have actual engines and stuff. Okay, we're still doing good. So yes! That's that's what uh, that's what these guys are trying to do. They're they're looking for investors for an aircraft. Their idea is it's a, it's a six seater aircraft. It can land at any heliport, and then it can fly at the speed of a you know business uh, aircraft, and then uh, and then it can land again. And they're like, well, you know, one of the the big sit time savers is that you don't need to go to an airport. You can just go to any helipad. Okay. Oh yeah, beamed power. I actually talked with some people that are looking at beamed power this afternoon. Or rather, I get an email from. And I totally am interested in this. Uh, I mean, I'm totally interested in talking to these people. But uh, obviously, I have to line it up with having to go to do Apple stuff and everything. Okay, now i got to figure out how to transition this to horizontal flight without killing myself. How do, how do we do this, do you think? What is this that's attached here? Oh, these are the, these are the, um, fuel cells. The a mod that adds the ducted fans is a USI Freight. I stuff, I believe. It's it's actually by Rover Dude, who, as we know, also works on Kerbal Space Program. So you know, it's all cool. Okay, so now let's try transitioning 
to horizontal flight. So I'm going to throttle back. And try and like pull up like this. So this will bleed off speed. I think this is the idea. Okay, this is pretty good so far. You know, I'm actually going to nose down. So at some point those wings will stop providing lift. I'm going to open up my cargo bay and uh, reactivate this one. So now we'll get some thrust from these. There we go. It's totally working. I cannot believe this monstrosity worked so easily. Obviously it's not perfect, but... And you know what? We're actually self-sustaining on those engines. I think I might need to throttle up a bit. The nose is actually quite responsive. Okay, let's let's do this. Oh, of course it has back. I can spin these backwards to slow myself down a little. So I want to try vertical landing, right? I'm going to throttle up a bit just to bring the nose up. There we go. This, this is, I am so amazed. I am so, no, that we, we haven't had like any serious crashes with this either. It's okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do some other stuff. We can play some more, uh, you, what do you call it? The form mail game. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you know, what, Rover Dude should be proud. He has done a lot of good things for, for making Kerbals uh, much more photogenic, let's say. No, we get tons of fuel as well. We're doing great in terms of fuel. I mean, I think I think I could work a little better in terms of the range, but, you know, we're doing pretty good. Okay, no... Out of memory, yes, that's that's right. Out of memory will be the next thing. I don't want to. I want to land it like vertically, so I just gotta slow myself down. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Clearly, I started slowing down a little too early. So I think the next trick will be to learn to fly this thing better. Oh. Uh-oh, starting to lose control here. Not good. Not good, because you know what? Aircraft. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay. Made made a slight mistake there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> That was unfortunate, but look, they were successfully delivered to their their destination just in time for their business meeting. <laughs> let's uh, let's try reverting that to launch again and trying again. <sighs> look, everyone survived. It was a successful mission. Okay, you know what? Actually, let's revert flight to the space plane hangar. I think we can actually make this a little. A little tighter here. Uh, and what I want to do is move these inside there. So here goes nothing. Are we ready? Ah! Excellent! First time! Now, now it looks more of the part, huh? And you know what? I'm going to add a little, uh, little delta wing here sticking out the front. So that it oh, I need the smaller one. Smaller one here. Because it needs to look the part. Uh -uh. No, I what? No, I didn't mean to do that. Wrong button. No, 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 no. Never mind. Done that wrong. Done that wrong. We'll need to try again. Uh, 
Yeah, I think this is the way to do it. So I'll take this and... Ah, you know what? If it clips through just a little, that's okay. Okay. And we just need two of these. Okay. That... That's mostly... Uh, uh, that's mostly acceptable. I'm gonna put more fan fins on this thing here. Just let's. Ch uh. So what's happening? My joystick is sitting over here, and my joystick has a little mouse controller on it. I'm not sure why, but my mouse pointer is just going randomly to the top right, and I can fix it by touching the joystick. Let's actually, yeah. Let's while we're here, let's put more solar panels on it. More solar panels so that it can. I don't know be better. Mostly because I can't be bothered adding more of these um, fuel cells. Okay. Structural. It is a, yeah, SciTech has a little thing on it. I'm not sure if the joystick is causing it, but but since that fixes it, I'm not gonna, like, unplug the joystick in case I find myself completely messed up without it. Okay, so throttle down to zero, stability control on. Activate engines. Just a little. Let's, electric charge is being drained. Oh yeah, I need to turn on my generators. Uh, not good. Oh yes, my, my engines are completely messed up. Yes, I forgot to fix that particular problem. Well, that was rather less successful than the first attempt. I know it's supposed to be four, and actually there's a misconception that four propellers would make it more stable. No, what makes it more stable is having the center of lift going through the center of mass, or the center of thrust going through the center of mass. It doesn't matter how many you have, right? It's whether you have everything pointed the right way. And there's actually no easy way to balance these things. Okay, you go up there and you go, and then we're going to launch again. Okay, we got to go through a checklist, right? I do like the scraping sounds. Okay, brakes on. Let's put the brakes on this time. Um, stability control enabled. Batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Um, powered up. Stability on. Power being generated. Throttle up. Oh dear. I'm going to do that. Okay, not good. <laughs> Why was that so hard? I, I was totally... <laughs> I like how things just continue exploding out of frame. Oh, uh, dear, dear, dear. Okay, one more time. Okay, batteries on. Batteries on. Brakes on. We're gonna. I'm gonna think. Turn my things forward a little. Stability control. Throttle down. Fire up the engines. And we'll just bring the power up very slowly. Oh no 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 no. I like how this is... There we go. <laughs> Again, surprisingly stable, right? But now here's the trick, as I want to try... I want to try landing this somewhere, right?
So what I need to do is that. See this? Oh, oh, no, 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 stability. No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> oh. I, I, I totally thought I was able to do that. Well, it's, yeah, in theory, I can limit all these thrust and, and do all that stuff. The main problem is that I get, I got my directions confused. So seven rotates it backwards, eight rotates it forward. So that's what I need to remember, right? Oh, I need to learn it to fly it like a million different things. It's really quite, quite, quite. Was the meet the meeting was on the fourth? They realized at the last minute that the meeting was not in fact on the roof, but it was actually on the fourth floor. Okay, so I'm gonna push these forward just a bit for stability reasons. Stability control on. Um, enable that. Okay, let's actually just try bringing it in for a landing on the runway first, right? Okay, there we go. So we get a little bit of this. And then I'm going to turn these backwards to allow us to slow down. No. Okay. Working on that just a little. Let's go forwards again. Throttle up. Throttle. Yeah, what I need is like individual throttle control and uh, eight fingers. There we go. We're getting airborne. We're picking up speed. Now we want to think about coming in for a landing. So we turn things around. Uh, there we go. There! Hey! That's not so bad. That wasn't the worst landing ever. I Okay, no, but I need eight... <laughs> eight hands with eight fingers each. That's what I need. No, these are thumbs! Okay, so let, let's... um. There must be a way to make this thing fly... Just very gently. I'm going to put on the brakes again. Brakes. No, put your nose down. Put your nose down just a bit. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. Let's just call this flight uh, over. <laughs> oh dear. It's so funny that the first flight went so well. No, I know my cent no, my center of mass and everything, but w didn't you not see how it flew so well the first time? And also we have to deal with the fact that the center of mass and everything is going to change. Okay, so let's go to the space plane hangar and see if we can uh, we can do some stuff. So, part of the problem is that our fuel is sitting at the rear, and we'd really like our fuel to be near the center of mass. So, that's one thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to dump... I don't need this fuel here. I shouldn't have this fuel here. Because that's just going to cause trouble. Instead, I'm going to stick a fuel tank right in here, and make that the main fuel tank that we use. Because, since it'll be nearer the center of mass, which is right there... It means we won't need to worry about the center of mass adjusting as we try flying around and burn fuel and everything. Of course, I could make this whole sucker nuclear and uh, not worry about it. Do we actually have like a, a nuclear thing? Ooh, engine cowling. That looks cool. Unfortunately, I'm not going to use that. Ooh, all honey badgers. Ooh, goodness, there's so many fun things that I want to mess around with. 
I've never played with this mod before and I see all sorts of cool items. Um, okay, so... Oh, you know what? You know what it would also be incredibly useful would be a bunch of extra things. Okay, let's try this fuel tank here. Yeah, I guess I could just put a couple of fuel tanks in, right? No, not like that. Ah, oh, there we go. We'll just stick a couple of fuel tanks right there. And that should move the center of mass to a reasonable position. Center of thrust. Ah, okay. Well, now let's grab the these tanks and shift them backwards just a touch. I said grab them and move them backwards. So that they're like right on top of the center of mass. That's the idea. Okay, that's pretty good. And now, now we'll take the whole, we'll apply the offset to these, and shift them forward so that our center of thrust is higher. It's so hard to make all this coincide and everything. I think that's a little more stable. You know, there's one more trick that I want to do. I think, I think I should be able to add like. I'm going to add reaction wheels, because reaction wheels make things, you know, more better. We'll add a pair of reaction wheels there, so that'll at least help me control the, the spin a little. And it does mean I can shift this... Oh, crap! Okay, I was going to say that does mean that I can shift this backwards just a touch. That, that looks pretty good. I'm going to save this thing. Yeah, more reaction wheels is always good, but I... <laughs> yes, 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 I, I, I'm... <laughs> I, I'm... Have you ever tried having, like, all the fingers doing something in Kerbal Space Program? It gets kind of hard. Oh, no, we want to do this. Okay, batteries to power. Um... Stability control enabled. Engines online. Throttle up. Let's put on the brakes first. I might... It might be better for me to actually throttle these things down a bit because I think they're just a little too sensitive. Okay. That's a little more stable. No. Oh, wait. Wait, these... You know what it is? This, these things have reversed their, their motion since I touched them last. Okay, so let's let's try going towards the vehicle assembly building. Just a little. Oh, I like this. This could totally work. Okay, so this thing is going forwards. Now I think what I'm going to do is turn it, stabilize it. And hopefully that'll get me some altitude. Oh yeah! This... Look at this, it's a working tri-fan! I, I cannot believe I've pulled this thing off. Now the hard part is going to be slowing down sufficiently to land. The, are there any other mods? Uh, this is craft. The only other mod I see is the B612 mod, and that's, you know, you could argue that that isn't even technically a mod because it's by the actual devs. Okay, so now I need to slow this thing down. And obviously I'm cheating by violating the laws of physics with the incredibly powerful reaction wheels. Okay. I'm just going to slow myself down few meters per second. Okay. Look at this! Look at this! Oh, brilliant! Totally works! Totally works! <laughs> oh, man.
Oh yes, yeah, so now we gotta now we gotta show that it can work for long range travel. Well, actually, first of all, let's see if we can land it on the runway. B612 make uh, are are the killer asteroid experts. Okay, so let's throttle this thing back up again. We're gonna take off. See this? Throttle it up. Oh no 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 no! Like this, like this. You want to look forwards. That's right. There we go. And then once this thing gets up to speed, we can shut down this fan in the cargo bay. I don't know if I had a. Did I have a thing for this? There, we did that, and then we can shut that. There we go. Just keeping them lined up just a little. That's pretty close to a cruising speed. Uh, yeah, no, that's what I'm going to see. I'm, I'm going to turn this thing around in a minute and see if I can perform a landing. So I'm just going to, like, imagine... Maybe we'll get up to some altitude here. That's perhaps a good idea. And then, wouldn't this get unstable after depleting fuel? No, because I moved the fuel tanks right towards where the center of mass is. Mean pilot is inquiring as to how unstable this thing is. I'll tell you what is unstable is my joist, my uh, mouse controls. Okay, so let's, let's try turning this around. You know what? This, oh my god, this thing turns like a brick. I think I need to work on my, I think it needs a bigger tailplane. Definitely needs a bigger tailplane. Let's do that, look. At least it's got these big fans to help me land it in, in this kind of situation. Okay, landing gear. Let's deploy the landing gear. I'm just, I'm not even going to go for a runway landing because I don't think I can reasonably get it anywhere near a runway. Oh, actually, I got it totally lined up for a runway. How did I manage that? Okay. So now let's actually just imagine all thrust power is gone. Okay. So with all thrust power gone, this thing is too nose heavy right now. So I'm going to throttle back up. Just a little. Okay. But we're going to do a runway landing with this, right? You know, that's that's not unreasonable speeds for landing, right? Okay, come on. Throttle down a little. Okay, I'm now a bit bit high. Yeah, I need much, much bigger control surfaces on the rear of this. And obviously that would be the kind of thing that people designing these commercially would figure out on. There we go! Brilliant! Not bad at all. Okay, so actually what we can I wonder if we can do a horizontal takeoff with this thing, right? So we'll just throttle this thing back up, unlock the brakes, and we'll see if we can actually cruise up to speed from a runway. So the fans are kind of burning. But I, I guess I needed bigger uh you know gear here to get me running initially. Uh, okay, so we do have a slight problem in that the the thing doesn't want to, because of the position of the landing gear, it doesn't want to come around. But I can always do this. <laughs> there, you see, that's the true power of these things. If you just think about how these things work, you can do some um, awesome stuff. And you know, the great thing is that I do actually have power in reserve if I need it. So I can like totally use this to get up to speed, and uh, once I'm flying fast enough, I can uh, throttle back to a more sustainable level, let's say. So yeah, we could get up to altitude, and once we start to worry about running out of power, we'll just uh, throttle back. Gives me maybe like 30, 40 seconds, or even, I don't know, actually, uh, yeah, it gives me about 30, 40 seconds at this higher level of power. So we're now getting up to speed, and we're over a thousand meters, so I can throttle down. 
just to sustainable power levels. And point the nose there. And now we're cruising! <sighs> I do like this. I, I was not convinced I would be able to do this. I was convinced this would be an unmitigated disaster in every possible way. But I think that we have to declare this plan not entirely... Uh, yeah, actually quite a good idea. I do think it's an awesome plan. If somebody can build an aircraft like this with, with the design that XTI are you doing, that would be awesome! I totally would love to have like a, you know, backyard heliport and be able to go wherever I like. <sighs> okay, so the hard part now is once we get out to the island is we want to see if we can bring it down and land it horizontal, land it vertically. Hmm. <sighs> oh, that's so good. Yeah, the, the servos are flexing a whole lot. It would be nice if there was a way to fix this because these, these things do flex a whole lot. I'd really like to shut that down just a little. 162, that's, that's pretty good. The beer brand, by the way, sorry, is Monumentous by uh, Coachella Valley Brewing Company. It is an IPA. And it is pretty uh, pungent, I would say. I, I like it, but it's definitely interesting. Okay, so I'm going to put the nose down just a touch because we need to start thinking about approach. Throttle back a little. And I'm bringing the... Oh, no, I'm going to bring these up. We're not landing just yet, but I want to start bleeding off speed. The, the ferry road, I don't know, I think the Roton was pretty crazy. Someone was saying that I should try building a nuclear submarine and landing it on Jewel, or landing it on Jupiter, but uh, I don't know, I'm kind of wary of, of the fact that somebody else suggested it, and I don't want to be accused of stealing his awesome ideas. At the same time, it's an awesome idea, I'd like to do it. Okay. The vertical fan is enclosed there. It's just, I don't know, I guess it, it's just being moved by airflow through it or something like that. Uh, well, I can't, um, so vector based, I can't adjust the the bot while, while I'm playing the game. So, I don't mind, but the bot will kill it. So, there's no point. There's no point. Night bot. Uh, is not under my control by any means. My favorite trance record? Uh, that's a really good question. I mean, I think just for, if you want your classic, you know, 1999 epic trance, you're gonna look at Guriella, which is basically Ferry Corsten and uh, Tiesto, before Tiesto became, you know, the same song repeatedly. But I don't think that's my favourite by any means. I just think it's a really good example. We're going to totally try a vertical landing, so this might take a bit of work. I've reduced my velocity just a touch, but we're still cruising in here. I totally need bigger control surfaces, like, everywhere. Yes, the... Bridgman, yes, the, the series I've just started is intended to be another long series, rather like Interstellar Quest. Okay, so let's open up the ducted fan. We're not quite there yet, but I'm just going to open it up. Now, the idea, of course, is that in the, the actual design, there's a door which slides forward instead of opening, opening up like this. But I did want to have a door. And obviously, there's a door at the bottom that opens up. Oh, okay. People want F5. We have f 5 Ha. Alt F4. Who uses that? People that are ill-informed, perhaps. Okay, so I'm going to throttle this. So what I'm going to do is put this into vertical mode. And... Fire up that vertical engine. And then, we're just going to cruise in like this. Okay, 
That's looking pretty good. Let's see if I can maintain control of this thing. And I apparently I am pitching nose first. Let's try throttling up just a bit. Okay, that's good. And I'm seeing orbital velocity as well. Great. I'm just going to keep just a little bit of forward velocity right now. Okay, this is really, really hard, I have to say. We're coming over the, ru the runway. I'm just going to let the nose drop a little and bring these things back to horizontal. I keep clicking on this darn thing. Okay, for some reason the nose is dropping and I'm not sure what that is. Obviously in a real aircraft you'd have differential power available to you so you could throttle these ones up at the thr front a little more. But I am not able to do this. Yeah, we're not going to go to orbital speed j by accident. Not by a long shot. Oh, wrong, 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 wrong. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. This is starting to look good here. This is so hard. I cannot believe how much I am concentrating. Where's my, where's my, uh, oh, there's the, the landing site there. Okay, so I think I might need to get a little higher here because otherwise I'm gonna touch this. I'm gonna side slip just, oh, throttle forwards. Let's move this thing forwards just a touch. Throttle down. Oh! Come on, throttle up. Just gonna get here. I'm trying to aim for the, the end of the runway here. You know what I also need? Is I need the neutral position on this. Neutral, neutral. Okay. I'm just uh, drying cherries or whatever, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh! Oh, this is so, so hard. This is so hard. Okay, 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 okay. I think, I think that is as good as I'm gonna get. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am sweating here. This is like Neil Armstrong landing on the moon. This contraption, um, it works. It theoretically works. Holy moly! <laughs> I think I obviously need some you know, good control interfaces and stuff like this. Okay, but I will also say I do need to... Uh, I, I'm gonna have to call this call it quits on this stream. I hope you found this interesting. I, I love this concept and uh, I'm gonna explore it a whole lot more. <laughs> no, Buzz Aldrin was just... The, he, he, he was... yeah, never mind. Uh, Buzz Aldrin was apparently in San Francisco yesterday, meeting with uh, Andy Weir, and it's funny, they posted this picture of them sitting, and I know I knew the restaurant they were sitting at, so it was kind of funny, I was like, oh, gotta resist, gotta resist going over than stalking them, except for the fact that, obviously, they would have moved on by then. But hey, I'm st we are st gonna have, we might add KOS, we do have remote tech in the Real Solar System series. Um... Yeah, I, I, 
I'm quite happy with this. So anyway, yes, um, good night everyone! I'm very excited for The Martian. Uh, I'm really hoping to get a chance to talk to Andy before then, but, you know, Buzz Aldrin only punches people that deserve it. Oh, no, never mind. I'm not gonna even say that. <laughs> okay. So anyway, yes, um, farewell, good night, uh, enjoy your momentous moment or whatever. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.